Hi, this is Mandy in Scotland. Today I am going to paint a commission in front of the camera. Uh, so I'd like to use this opportunity to share my experience how to make a commission art, and um, which means that when people, uh, if you have a design and uh, it's popular, and or someone wants you to reproduce again, what what to do? I share some tips, and uh, I will share like the whole process how I make it. Uh, maybe not the steam part because I have shared the, the how to steam the silk scarf at home in other videos. If you need to watch them, just uh, you, you can go to my uh, my channel. Uh, site and then go through the playlist you find it. I've been a silk painter for more than three years now. My experience of making making silk scarf commissions is like two type of a design. One is a computer design. One is I printed it out the whole the the real size of the design. So I just lay it down under the silk scarf, as I can trace on top. Freehand picture. It's uh, um, it's very difficult to keep it exactly the same. But uh, there's still a way we can follow to make it look most alike from our work. So in this case, what is the most important is the size of the picture, and uh, the, um, the the color. The colors are very 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 important, and how accurate you can mix your color, and also the design. And if it, there is a design to follow, and then you should uh, make it uh, as similar as possible. And this scarf is um punch fight for silk scarves. I. Uh, I prefer the punch five because it's lighter and then the color is more transparency. Then this Habata 8, that uh, Habata 8 silk type, it's um, uh, uh, thicker than punch five. And what's about it? What good about it? The uh, Habata 8 uh, silk scarf are holding more color, so the, the color, uh, the silk is thicker, so the color, whatever color on the Habata 8, will appear darker or more bright or brighter compared to the punch fat. If you enjoyed today's video please like or subscribe and I'm also on Facebook and I'm rebuilding my website so it's really need an update. So anyway um, okay let's start by have a look what to prepare. Okay so today's setting I have my big studio light you can't see from there uh i've already prepared my frames um it's uh it's just a it's just a long regular frame and this scarf is 35 by 180 centimeter and on this side i have printed out the picture from my, my list so i will match those color and the design on this scarf um here is my it's my color my tool shelf it got wheels underneath so it's easier to move I will just on my computer screen I have two very closed up picture about this uh, the detail of the flowers so I can use that when I'm painting but then uh, when it's on paper it, it will never be as bright as on the screen so because that this is on Etsy and my client saw the picture from the screen so I will use that to match the color and try to match my color with the screen instead of the paper but this is for the layout I have my color they come they come with a bottle like this and uh, I'm just I put them in a smaller one and then it's uh, uh, and you have a little top you can just squeeze it out when you need it so then I have my palette and, and purple so only three colors I'm using this palette for it uh, uh, I cut some small piece of what says rag or cotton rags I like to test my color on on the rags before I put it on silk and I have gloves, so because I want to keep my hands clean, <laughs> uh, cleanish. Um, so here is after that we have what I got here: and water, one jar of clean water, and um, pen brushes, and also an empty jar. 
So this empty jar is very useful. It's, uh, every time if I say, if I use this one for uh, the flower, I paint it red and it's used. I don't want to mix it there. But next time I, in the next part, I can pick up this paint brush again and then to go for the next, the, the same color part. So and then so if I use so is this one is for used pen brushes and then those are for the new pen brushes and if anything if any any pen brush you're not gonna use it uh, or that just a small area of color and it, and then or you run out of pen brush you know wash it in the water and dry it with kitchen towel like make sure the kitchen towel absorb all the color before you dip it into oh it's not clean <laughs> so make sure it's clean and then uh, dry dry the water before you put your uh your dip it your before you load your pen brush okay dip it. yes um so that's all i have to paint this silk scarf Okay, so now uh, I have the scooter outline uh, all dry now. I've left it dry for about three hours and now they are dry and I am going to get the color ready and color this scarf. Uh, because of the pattern, uh, the flower is about darker color. So I will start with a lighter color which is uh, outside. The, I mean the main color of the stuff <laughs> I download uh, so um, I will do the pink uh, background first and then in why I'm doing the pink background first um, if any good outline get a gap in uh, between the shapes so if the lighter color run in, in there I can uh, I can check it and then fix the lights uh, so so to control the bleed because I do not want the darker color come out to the lighter color in that way I can't really fix it but when the lighter color um, run in to the white scarf if I'm going to darken it anyway so I can kind of fixing the bleed and okay so let's start first of all I gotta get all the color I need at the same time. Okay, now I'm going to do my first flower. So that will be the, the single, oh, one of the big one, the biggest one. This biggest one is the darkest. So I will go for the biggest one and the medium one and then the other side.
Hi. Uh, okay. This is two day later. Uh, so now the scarf in my hand, uh, it's ready to go. It's being washed and ironed. My dad always said it's a detail beside how good the product is. The more the more um the more attention you pay to the details, the more the better. In this page, it says um, uh, what I like about the silk scarf and what type of silk and what's in the studio. And on this page, it's a little bit a story of the uh, legends of the silk and the care instruction. And I also have this uh, thing card. I'm going to write a hand, hand write note. It's going to be in this envelope. Um, I usually leave the inside envelope open just in case if um, this is a gift and uh, uh, they want to keep the envelope original one. Okay, so that's, that's it. Thank you very much. Hello, this is Mandy. I don't know where to put my hand. Hi, this is. <laughs> Hi, this is Mandy in Scotland. It's just start to rain. Okay, Tom, I don't know where to look. Let me check. I'm just start to stick on the back of my phone so I know where to look. Is look at the screen. <laughs> look at you, um, my audience. I don't know. So I'm just gonna put it here. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, anyway. <laughs>